security concerns, students, I've interviewed some students on campus, they're, they're really worried and they don't dare to you know, go out at night. And what are you going to do about this? Sure. Well, let me say that the third sexual assault in a, in a matter of three weeks on campus is a serious concern for the university, and that the safety not only of our students, but also of our faculty, our staff, and also the residents who live in the university neighborhood um, is of top priority. Um, I think with respect to the level of concern on campus, the university uh, in and of itself is not the only body, but there is concern among the students who live and work uh, and study uh, at UBC. Um, with respect to specific measures that the university has taken, um, we have been uh, following the third assault, which was brought to our attention, or the university's attention, on uh, Saturday morning. Um, we have um, significantly increased both the level of concern that has been pushed out to uh, students uh, by way of broadcast emails, um, by way of um, posters in the gym, in the student union building, in the libraries. Uh, when students log on to our online connect system, there's a safety uh, and security message and bulletin there, again bringing attention to the fact that this third assault um, took place, and also the measures that we are recommending that they take um, with respect to their personal safety. With respect to the students living in residences specifically, uh, there were emergency meetings held um, on Saturday morning um, in which it was brought to their attention. This assault had taken place and I think more direct suggestions with respect to what they should do to take care of not only their own personal safety, a recommendation that they do not walk alone at night, but also how they might look out for each other as a community. And I think that what we have seen um, following the incident uh, on, Saturday, on the early hours of Saturday morning is the community really coming together and to uh, pu putting in place buddy systems and ways in which they're committing um, to look out for each other. So I think that this is an issue of, um, you know, um, we're simply not going to be able to post a police person on every corner. Um, um, certainly the uh, university and campus security have increased their level of patrols uh, following the second and again the third incident. Um, but also it is about the vigilance and the personal practices um, of our community uh, members. Could you? Uh, Just a follow up. So you said adding patrols, like in which degree? Because the students were, uh, some of the students are saying maybe it's lack of the um, campus control uh, patrol that actually triggered the problem because there are nobody there. So maybe the attacker thinks it's you know it's it's nobody going to severe them, uh, nobody going to catch them. So. Yeah. I mean, I think the specifics of that in terms of the level of the patrol, you'd have to ask the RCMP or, or um, campus security directly. My understanding is, though, that there has been a si significant increase in um, the level of patrol by both of those bodies. On a regular basis uh, at UBC, the UB UBC campus security and the RCMP are on regular patrols, uh, and what we've seen following the incidents has been an increase in that. Yeah, we're also intensifying patrols at the hours, you know, after dark. So it's been targeted that way, and there's also <coughs> increases during uh, the after dark hours on weekends. Yeah? Could you comment on the possibility of the fourth victim in the campus and her alleged reluctance to report to authorities? So um, I'm only aware that the UBC uh, broke this story. Um, as far as I am aware, there has been no official report uh, to the RCMP. Uh, of course, we would encourage uh, this particular student, if uh, this event did take place, uh, to come forward as we would any other person uh, who has been assaulted uh, on campus. So at this stage, um, any further assault is um, uh, unconfirmed. Can I ask about the Safe Walk program? Is that something that UBC might look to extend the hours of? It currently goes until 2, but I mean, one of the assaults happened, I think, at 3.30 in the morning. Sure. So um, we talked to students today, and a lot of them were talking about that, and we'd like to see that extended and made more available. Sure. So I am actually meeting with the Graduate Student Society and the Alma Mater Society um, this afternoon to discuss um, the AMS uh, Walk Safe program and the hours of its operation. But specifically, uh, and part of the communication that was uh, pushed out um, over the weekend to students was that um, there is no need to walk alone. Um, should, camp should Walk Safe actually be 
being involved in walking somebody at the time you call and there's no response, uh, students are able to call campus security and uh, make a request to be met at their location and taken to destination. And uh, similarly, after hours um, of WalkSafe's current operation, there's always that opportunity to contact campus security. And again, that's been part of our messaging now. Other question? Uh, if that's it, I think we might wrap it up now. Thank you very much for coming. Appreciate it.